Hello, we have another test. We're gonna do Sea of Thieves Xbox Series X, Xbox One X, and the OG Xbox One. We're gonna test loading speeds to see how fast. I'm gonna test different points here on Sea of Thieves. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and load it up first. I'm not gonna start the timer here. I'm just gonna let you see how long it takes to load up uh, right away. The first initial load. And like I said, we'll do more tests, but watch how fast the Series X just loads right into it. Yeah, the One X did pretty good too. The One is struggling a bit. This part you can skip. That's why it's kind of hard for me to get the timer going and all that. But here, oh, like, yeah, see, there you go. One X or Series X, you're right on the main menu already. One X, you're <laughs> and the Xbox One, you're still waiting. Right there. That's the initial load. Again, that one's kind of hard to time out. Jeez. What is going on here? But yeah, I've got a specific load. I'm going to show you. Once you find a server, you'll load into a game. It, what, You'll find the server, and then the loading starts. That is the one I'm going to test the time on. We'll also test when you die, when you're on the ferry, and when, when you come back. Okay, I'll do that on the Series X only. The other ones, it's it takes pretty long on One X and Xbox One to to come back from the ferry. But look, I mean, just I can already I could have already gotten the game and playing a game already on Series X, no doubt about it. One X, you're still you're still waiting. Look, it's still loading. <laughs> it's it's just there. It's just there right now. Gosh. In the Xbox One, I mean, you are waiting. This is optimized, by the way. I didn't even mention that off the bat. This is optimized for Series X now. So here we are in the same lobby with all three different Xboxes. Series X, One X, Xbox One. I'm going to hit set sail on my main account here. It's going to find a server. And then once it finds the server, that is when... We will start the timer up right there, okay? Because that's when the actual loading starts, and we'll watch all three at the same time. Again, this is the optimized version. Runs at 4K 60 on Series X. It's uh, it's very beautiful. I'll sh I'll have to make a video of just some just some gameplay 4K 60 with HDR turned on. Hopefully, I can do that. Anyways, let's go. All right, it's searching the seas. Once it's searched, once once it's found a game, there. Boom. Okay. The timer's going. All of them started loading in at the same exact time as well. Once again, it's optimized. Okay, this is the optimized version. 18 seconds. 18 seconds. These. This is all from the internal as well. 18 seconds, y'all, on Series X. You realize that's very, very fast. Like, extraordinarily fast. You'll see. So I could be, you know, moving around, playing the game, all that, while your friends are waiting to load in. We're at 50 seconds. 18, man. 18. That's crazy fast. That's faster than it's faster than my PC. It's faster than my seventeen hundred dollar PC. No joke. If I had, I could pull in my PC in here and you'd see there. Uh, one X was about a minute and fifteen seconds. So you're looking at a whole minute of uh, Series X cut off loading. Just just loading into the game. And if you're on the Xbox One, well, we'll wait. We'll wait for you. But as you can see, the next generation, you have incredible loading speeds. Incredible loading speeds. It's like night and day. So 18 seconds, one minute, and whatever it was for the 1X. About a, There you go. Almost two minutes for the Xbox. And you're still not loaded in. There you go. There you go. Two minutes. Right around the two minute mark. 
So I think that was a really good test. We'll test loading from the ferry after you die back to when you enter the game. That's another good test. So let's test what the loading is like when you die in Sea of Thieves. When you go to the ferry and you come back, that's usually a long load. There we go. Offers soul to the ferry. And that's one, two, three, two, three seconds to go from there. And then the ferry, uh, it takes a little bit for this door to open, and that's on purpose, so you can't just get right back after you die immediately. Because it'd be very hard to sink player ships if everybody just came back immediately. But once the door opens up, that load, you usually get a black screen on um, Xbox One, Xbox uh, One X for, for quite a bit of time. So we'll see what the time is on Series X here. And it is... I already hear the noise. Okay, yeah, it's really quick. Like, a couple seconds, man. That's, uh... If you're playing on the, the OG Xbox One, that's going to be a huge improvement. Even if you're playing just uh, One X as well, it takes several seconds, like, like 10 seconds at least on that one. But yeah, man, there's the uh, Sea of Thieves test. Again, this game is optimized for Series X, S. It runs at 4K 60 on the X. The S, I have not tried it, but apparently it runs at 1080 60 as well. And uh, man, it's a... Uh, I love Sea of Thieves. I've put, I've put thousands of hours in this game, so this is uh, super exciting that they they optimized it. I can't wait to play more and more and more. Thanks for watching the video, and uh, I hope to see you in my next video. Have a great day.